I look at her like a little sister. I enjoy her. I think she has a beautiful spirit. And I just love her to death, like as a sister. Hey, girl, what's going on? Hey, Scoop, how are you? I'm fine. So this is Maya. And like I said again, Maya's one of my favorite people, period. That's because of her energy, her, her kindness, her calmness. The best way I could explain it for me is that Maya is like a white candle in, in a room <laughs> with rain coming down on a roof during a thunderstorm. To me, it's very calming. Whenever I see Maya, I get calm. Whenever I'm around her, I get calm. Oh, I gotta see your face, girl. Put that, put that up so we can see your face, cause I can see. I always see. Her. I, 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 there you go. That's perfect. Um, she, she's very calming to me, and um, she just gives me that feeling. And again, like I was just saying before, she got on. It ain't nothing to do sexually. I just like her. As a person, there's people that people can like just because of their energy. And she exudes a bright light. And I like a bright light because, to be honest with you, people, the majority of the music business is a bunch of people who really ain't shit. And I, you know that. You know <laughs> that. No, no, no. Now, you know that. I'm the not going to put you in the spot. Okay. But you the know business. that. And you know <laughs> that a, the, the majority of the music business is a bunch of people who are fake a bunch of people who will ask you to do something, but when you need them, they won't do it for you. It's a bunch of fuckery and nonsense. So it's rare for me to find people that I really like. And Maya is one of those people. And I went all the way around the world to get to that. But I had to say that. Give it up for Maya. How are you? Oh, what an introduction. <laughs> yes, that, 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 that's, that's very real. How are you? I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. Um, Maya is also a person to me that exudes pure health. And I'm going to say this before I get into interviewing her. I'm going to say this. Maya has been looking 18 years old for about 28 years. Okay? Not always. Uh, no, no, look at 20, 18 <laughs> years old. The, the, like there was one years. point that I wasn't. So I okay. cracked the whip on myself. <laughs> now, now, people, and Maya, does, maybe she knows this or maybe she doesn't know this. Behind her back, they call her a vampire. But see... But the thing with Maya is that she is in perfect health, and we're going to get into that very in, in, shortly. We happened to be on a 90s tour about eight weeks ago. Was it six or eight weeks ago? Maybe six, eight weeks ago. And um, it's a 90s tour. So everybody that had records during the 90s was on that tour. Now, there were people who looked like they were, like they were from the 90s. There were people who looked their age, okay, but not Maya, okay? Maya looked, again, 18 years old. Anytime I see her, she looked the same age. It's like she's stuck on 18, and that's it. Maya is also the reason that I lost 40 pounds, okay? The, we were on the tour, and they were talking about coronavirus, and we, we might have been in, um, I think we were in Cardiff, and... I went to, they were saying, if you have pre-existing conditions, the coronavirus can grab you, can get you, and it can hurt you. And at that time, I was grabbing a lemon tart, and I was grabbing cookies and a bunch of stuff. And Maya has a way of looking at you like a school teacher. And she looked at me, and she, because we've had conversations about health and eating and Dr. Sabi and all that stuff, and she looked at me, and the look on her face was like, you know that you should not have that in your hand. And I immediately put it down and I went right to the juicer. And from the rest of the 10 days that we were on that tour, I used the juicer every day. I didn't eat meat, anything else. Consequently, 40 or 50 days later, I have now lost 45 pounds. So that's all due to her. Um, that's all due that's to you. you. That, that's that's yeah. you. Um, that's all you. <laughs> no, that's all you because you, the look on your face, I didn't want to disappoint you. And the look on your face was like, put that down. So let's start, let's start here. You are extremely healthy. You are a vegan, am I correct? Yes, but vegan does not mean healthy. Okay. So, so there's so, tears to that. <laughs> okay, so you know? walk us through that. Walk us through that. Explain vegetarian versus vegan and, and explain what you do because you're really, really good at eating and health and everything and I wanted people to hear that. 
Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. You're a legend and we need you here, which is why I looked at you like that on tour, which was a fun tour, by the way. Um, I started my, well, first of all, I started years and years and years ago, over a decade ago, on a pescatarian journey, which means I gave up all meat. Um, I actually gave up pork a long time ago in high school because I got lightheaded and blacked out when it was actually being cooked mm. at my grandmother's house and my house. I was in high school and I stopped eating pork then. It was probably like 1996. And from there, I eventually gave up beef, well, all the red meat because I had some digestive problems. Um, my lower back would give me issues and I just wasn't consuming enough vegetables with that along with Oh, enough water either but then I went pescatarian which means just seafood and then from there uh, I started conducting challenges when there was my space <laughs> in Twitter and that's when I became vegetarian and that was for years um, then I got into a very toxic relationship and started eating everything I grew up on gained 35 pounds wow. started looking like I had kids <laughs> You know, and I wasn't feeling good. I had knee problems, all of that stuff. And from there, when I left that relationship, which my life depended on, I went back to what I was doing before. I said, I'm going to go back to uh, vegetarianism, but I'm going to take a step further after my six months return to vegetarianism, and I'm going to go vegan, whatever that means. It was still a foreign language to me. And from veganism, I... I learned so much uh, in my first six months regarding what I couldn't have, what it was. Now, vegetarianism, you can consume eggs uh, or milk or both. And ovo is the proper term for um, eggs. And, doggy. Listen, and, don't be mad about those <laughs> eggs because you can't have eggs. Stop barking. <laughs> and then um, lacto is the proper word for milk. So there are ovo, lacto, vegetarianism, uh, and then there's ovo, and then there's lacto, or both. So I was consuming both. But at the same time, I was diagnosed with osteopenia, which is the early signs of osteoporosis, which they tell you, you know, milk builds strong bones and calcium and all of that stuff. But I was frail. I had some fractures as well as a dancer, and that was no good. So when I went vegan, I have reversed my anemia immediately. I also reversed my osteopenia. I didn't have any breaks. I didn't have any fractures, which was strange to me. I was consuming plant-based milks, uh, the rice milk. Started with soy. I don't, I don't consume soy anymore. The oat milks, the hemp, um, cashew milk, almond, coconut milk, all that stuff. And... July 1st will be me walking into almost year seven of veganism, but there's tears. When I first started my vegan journey, uh, it was about reading everything that was on the box because I was consuming processed foods, substitutes, you know, which are not always healthy, especially some of the products that contain chemicals or wheat or, or soy or even gluten if you're intolerant to that. Uh, and you have to read carefully because some things that are labeled vegan are still consumed with dairy. So that was a journey for me. Just within the six, first six months, I lost all that weight that I put on in my relationship. But I was gaining weight as well as a vegetarian because I was consuming the fries, the pizzas, the, the pastas, the cheeses, the milks. And there's something that happened also spiritually. <laughs> Batman Scoop!